Uh, <clears throat> all right, so for this one, you know, you can choose your regular Google, stick on a white background to save stuff, um, save image as, name it something. All right, so um, <clears throat> now that it's saved on our computers, wherever we saved it, so we're going to go to File, right? Place. Where are you? All right, so if you notice, like, it didn't come up, JPEG or whatever. So that means that this is probably going to happen sometimes if we're not thinking about it. Um, I look at my downloads. I look at this. I look at my downloads. I look at the stick. All right. So it is a JPEG. Oh, I, I wrote stock instead of stick. That's why. Oops. So it did do it right. But if it doesn't come up as a JPEG and it's a web file, you just got to make sure you downloaded an image file that uh, the software could load. Right. So then I hit place, stock instead of stick, typo. I'm going to place it. Right. All right. So I have this stick. Now, this is a raster image, right? So it's uh, made up of a ton of pixels, right? But no good for Illustrator because we want vector images in Illustrator. So we clicked it um, with the image selected. What are we going to do? All right, we got image trace, right? Um, we got our properties of our image trace. So it's still selected. And then if you notice, it kind of went uh, silhouette. So we could also, you know, get this drop down. We're going to go low fidelity. Um, and then we also have the ability to do some of these uh, quick actions. Right? So I clicked on uh, low fidelity. We're going to open the image trace panel right here. And then we have um, some different things we could do. So the buttons on the top of the trace panel for converting the image to grayscale, black and white. Below the buttons, uh, you'll see the present menu. Uh, just hit OK. <laughs> the menu is the same as the properties panel. Uh, the mode menu allows you to change color mode, resulting in artwork, grayscale, black and white. The palette menu is also helpful, limiting the color palette. Uh, in the image menu, though, we're going to click uh, the triangle to the left of the advanced options to reveal them. And then we're going to change the following options to the trace panel using these values. So we're looking for that, you know, triangle right here. So then we get our pop down. Um, and grab this, move it up so I can see all of it. <laughs> And then we're going to start looking at some of these advanced things, right? So paths, uh, go 95%. You could also type it in. Uh, threshold. And then we got corners, uh, 80% maybe. And then noise, do 90 px. Um, do we need to do anything else?
All right. So with that, we kind of changed it. Good. Um, now we're going to hit expand. In our down here, uh, I had expand. Now we're just going to clean it up a little bit. So um, since the stick image has been converted to shapes using the image trace command, you can uh, refine the shape to make the stick look better. So with the stick artwork selected, click the ungroup button in the properties panel. So ungroup. Um, it's going to break apart into different shapes. Uh, deselect the artwork by choosing select, deselect, and then with the selection tool, uh, click the extra stick on top of the image that was traced. All right, so I made a copy really quickly just to show you, uh, you know, it's always good, like sometimes if it's doing new stuff, make a copy, put it over to the side. So if you're messing with stuff and it's your first time, otherwise, sometimes we have to do stuff a bunch of different times. So I got this selected. I'm going to ungroup, right? Then I could uh, select these things individually. So delete, delete. If I wanted to get rid of this uh, top part of the stick and I kind of wanted to even it out, um, All right, so I kind of got rid of that. I can get rid of some of these different things. So that's one thing we could do. All right, so with the selection tool, the extra strike, uh, we can press delete or backspace to remove it. And then we're going to click the stick shape to select it. To change the color, um, we're going to do the fill. We're just going to pick a brown color. Uh, to make the edges a bit more smooth, we could do the simplify command. So first, you know... We're going to select it. All right. I guess I have to move this thing. Daddy's not playing games. Uh, so if we grab the fill, right, we could do a brown color. So we have one kind of color and then we could do these like choppy little tool paths right we can kind of switch it uh so we had still selected then we can go to object path and then we could do um simplify and we could pick uh whatever threshold of the path that we want to do and then we could drag the slider to remove uh points so that seems to be the auto selected and it simplifies the path the closer to the slider is to the minimum value the fewer the anchor points are and the path will most likely look different uh then we could click this options right to simplify, to open a dialog box circled in the previous uh, thing that we kind of looked at. So it's still highlighted. We simplified it a little bit. And then we kind of do some advanced changings, right? So we're going to smooth out uh, to the maximum. So uh, there's also the auto simplify but there's also we could like smooth out to the maximum and we can uh smooth the corners but for this one we're going to drag the slider to the left until you see 
20 points. All right, so this is reducing, and this way is simplifying, and then, you know, whatever you think, they got a preview. You can kind of see what it does. Or you could use auto simplify. All right, so we're back at this one. I'm going to group it so I can move it together. Ooh, I lost a little something, so that's why we're doing Control-Z, Control-Z. All right, so then we have this, right? We're finishing it up. Uh, I got my regular selector on. I could turn it a little bit. Uh, and then the last thing, just uh, some simple stuff. Going back to stuff that we've already done, uh, we do a text. Um, while it's highlighted, you can change the font size and you can change all that stuff. And then you can find like a script one or whatever one you like. Uh, and then... Once it's kind of selected like that, you could either resize it this way, or if you put your selector on, you could do a resize uh, that way. Uh, did I spell two two can spell right? And then um, maybe just just real quick to oof, I don't know. All right, then we're going to select her again, arrange, arrange, send it back. And then, you know, we'll do the, let's do this. Opposite. So. Do the background. All right. And if I'm using like my old skills, I should have probably did my shift. Uh, while I did it to keep my original thing. And then just technically for this thing, I don't think a gradient looks good. We'll just do regular gray. Uh, and then, you know, we have our toucan. <laughs> 